I think one of the first things we'll try and clean up here is this here on the wire wheel. So we'll take this over the wire wheel and we'll be back. Okay, so we're moving along here with the restoration of this uh, straight line or straight inline grinder. And the old grease really isn't bad at all. It's in pretty good shape. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this housing back together. And we're going to put some temporary bolts in there to keep it together so we don't have a grease mess everywhere on our hands. Also, our shaft cleaned up nicely on the wire brush. Looks like it's ready for a good another go around or two. So we'll get some screws in here temporary screws to hold that together and we'll keep going. Alright so we have this temporarily bolted on here now this is going to be an advantage to us for a few reasons I went with smaller fasteners than it should have had number 10's in it and I put number 8's in that'll give me the ability to uh, to clean around these a little bit plus I can take one out and leave the other three in and get these uh, pockets cleaned out nicely the other thing is when we start to buff this we'll have our surfaces mated and we won't have to worry about the buffing wheel rounding out anything obviously we'll have to degrease everything here first but now that we're temporarily reassembled on this part we can go and take a look at the handle so here's our handle uh, we have some little bit of cleanup to do here um, and I plan on varnishing the inside of this handle but we can actually you can see it's doweled and one of the dowels actually broke when we took this apart it was uh, corroded in so unfortunately we're gonna be down to just one dowel I don't think that's gonna hurt our fit up at all I think this thing will still fit together just just fine but there's the broken dowel right there, sheared it off, um, and that was right here. But not the end of the world, it'll be alright. I'd say this one's actually probably more important. So we'll get some screws back in this guy, and then this too will be good to try and buff up, and we'll just have to watch this edge here because you can knock the crispness off that with the buffing wheel pretty pretty quick actually so we don't want to do that okay so here we go we got our three screws back into the handle and then this will be good to uh, clean up and then buff as well Okay, so we're moving along here. You can see we've started cleaning up our handle. We've got a good basic buff coat on this. Clean up pretty nicely. So what we're doing, you can see there's a bunch of uh, black marks in the aluminum here. And after we've degreased everything on the tool uh, at this point, uh, what we're doing is taking a a uh, very fine scotch pad on one of these things and uh, just buffing it out and and then what we'll do is we'll hit it with the the actual buffer but you can see we're getting pretty good finish there uh, just with just with this so I'll show a quick segment of that but I'm not gonna go through the whole thing So there we go, you can see you're getting rid of those uh, discoloration marks in the aluminum and that's uh, working out pretty good. So we'll be back after we got this polished up. Okay, so here we go, here is our polished up 
spindle for the straight grinder project that we're working on. Sorry, that thing wants to spin. We got the back all polished up and the rest of it. This thing appears to have seen pretty light usage. Now, there are some marring marks right there on it that it had hit something at some point, but not bad at all. Everything's cleaned up really nicely so far on this one. So moving on. All right, so we're moving along here, cleaning this up. We can see that this plate has a lot of dirt under it. So we're gonna drill out these rivets in this and we are gonna get this thing cleaned up. So what we'll do here, uh, this is the first one I had with a sticker, but I think I'm gonna try and get this corner of the sticker set well and then I'm gonna cover this with some blue painters tape and we'll try and buff around the sticker because this is actually in really nice shape we don't wanna mess that up. And then we have uh, this piece left that we gotta clean up and then we're pretty much ready for cleaning on a bunch of this obviously we gotta clean the inside of this out and then mask it all up so we can paint it with insulating varnish and then we have to also paint this guy yet our stator assembly and we'll probably try and do a seal coat on our rotor here too so moving along on this it's been a fun little project okay so we have our drill bit here and a drill chuck and that's gonna fit right in these rivets so let's put that on our drill just like that and now what we can do drill out our rivets just like that alright so we're back and we did a little bit more cleaning here so we got all the grease out of this thing completely clean inside nice clean aluminum got the outside pre-buffed we'll hit it one more time then but what we're gonna do now is tape up everything and spray this with insulating varnish we also cleaned up our stator stator being the part that stays in place and this is the stator for this grinder it's in uh, it's in nice shape actually uh, the varnish isn't too bad on it but we're gonna tape a few things up on this and revarnish this also since we have it apart we're gonna clean it all up and redo it the laminations look good in this nothing separating these end pieces are just mica insulation that you see and that's pretty common for these to be bubbled a little bit there uh, that's that's nothing out of the ordinary and there we have our part number I believe and uh, brush holder looks good there's the brush holder they're nicely attached here all brass connections brass and copper it looks like this tab is a copper tab and this is like a vermiculite type thing with a brass insert very very nicely done and here's our other stator lead right here which if we remember that went back to the switch so there we go got this guy cleaned up also so we're gonna get these two ready for paint and get on with that okay so we're continuing with the restoration of this grinder and I thought we'd come back for a little update we have the motor housing all varnished inside here 
can see a nice coat of red varnish inside. Uh, masked off the bearing housing and the brush holders so that we don't have uh, anything paint in them to make it hard to put any of that back together. Uh, we also got a rough buffing on the entire motor housing here. It's coming up nicely. What we'll do now is uh, finish this, well, rough assemble everything and buff it again. Assembled. And we also have our stator housing here. It's a really nice stator. Nice shape here. Um, we got that varnished. Here's all of our pieces for that. Brush holder, wire lead. That turned out nicely. Nice even coat of varnish on that. And when I do these, I like to mask the uh, the internal field. Um, they, unless they, the original varnish is really bad on them, which this one is not. The original varnish is in good shape here. I just don't like to add too much thickness to that because the um, eh, you might have stuff start rubbing if you get it too thick there. So we got our stator housing done. Also got our rotor done and fan. When I do these I like to spin them and uh, I mask the whole thing. What I don't want painted the field here and the and the commutator and the bearings and what have you and the, the drive gear. I mask everything and I like to spin them when I paint them so that it, yeah, I stand a chance at getting an even coat of paint on it so I don't knock it out of balance with the paint. So I also cleaned up the commutator there. You can see that's nice and shiny. Really nice comm segments on this. Everything looks really good. Uh, the, the varnish resealed everything here very nicely. It was, it was pretty good to begin with, but we got a nice coat of uh, sealant in there to take care of that. Bearings are in great shape on this. So we're just going to repack them with grease. Uh, we clean them up a little bit and uh, they're ready to be repacked and this this is ready to go here the rotor nice shape spins nicely um, so there's the rotor and we also did our handle halves so here they are and they they'll go together like that be our handle so that's just a mask job there around what you don't want painted uh, I normally leave the ground tab there I'll throw some masking tape there so the ground has a good uh, metal ground because that's where the ground screw goes and everything else has a, a coat of varnish in it here just some extra insulation uh, in this instance these uh, part number stickers peeled right out so I peeled them out put them back in after it was done so there's the that's the main handle half there and then this, this one will be the cover so you would assemble the switch in here with these two screws your, your wire clamp is here ground screw here so this is the the main handle half and then this one here assembles on top like that so what we'll do next is uh, reassemble everything uh, empty and buff it up for the final buff you can see it's started coming up nicely here the initial buff job went very well with it cleaned up nicely and uh, we'll continue on with this project alright so I just want to drop back quick here and make note of this old version of the grinder does not did not originally have a means of attaching a wrench to the motor spindle so that you can get the arbor nut off it. So what we did was we took a drill bit here and we drilled a, a hole into this collar which is the backer for the grinding wheel and that allows us to then put a wrench on here and get the uh, the nut off so that everything's not jammed together it'll allow us to get everything apart. It's just a feature that the old version didn't have and it's easy enough to add so that's what we're doing here got that done now we're gonna move on to the reassembly <laughs> 